Welcome back, guys, to another episode of Decentralized Chain. It's Faraz, and in today's episode, we are going to go through the quickest guide that you can find to get yourself set up on the SUI blockchain, be eligible for potential airdrops, and also be eligible for farming airdrops off the other dApps on the testnet. But before we do, if this is the first time you're here and you want to learn more about crypto and stay ahead of the game like we're doing in this episode, don't forget to hit the like button below, click the subscribe button and the bell notification icon so you don't miss any of my upcoming episodes. Better still, why don't you come on over, join me over in Telegram. Plenty of content being shared there, lots of people discussing airdrops. And also follow me on TikTok. I create quick tutorials there that you can easily view and get set up on. So let's jump in and talk a bit about SUI. So for those who don't know, SUI is a layer one proof of stake blockchain by Mistin Labs. The development group are those from the Facebook slash Meta DM project. So they've gone ahead and created their own L1 blockchain. And really, it has some decent backers behind it already. We've got big names like A16, Binance, FTX, and just to name a few. Now, interestingly enough, there are two opportunities here that we can explore in order in terms of how you can get airdrops. Now, as you notice with the Aptos airdrop, people were eligible for, I think, almost about $1,500 worth of airdrops just for interacting with the Aptos testnet. And I believe Sui is going to be no different in my opinion. So all we're going to do here today is just interact with the testnet, get set up, so you can be in for a potential airdrop and also look at some of the upcoming dApps on the SUI blockchain so you can test those and be in for a potential airdrop by farming those. And you can make thousands of dollars with it doing so. So first and foremost, as I said, there are two options. Number one, you can become a validator node yourself. I believe you'll be incentivized with 2000 SUI tokens on mainnet. So that's one option at the moment. That is closed in terms of registration. But what we can do, what we can do is actually go ahead and start interacting with the dApps on the SUI testnet, which will then give us the opportunity to potentially to farm airdrops as well as maybe earn some SUI airdrop tokens for just interacting with the testnet. And in order to do that, first things first, you do need to make sure that you have a wallet set up. Now there's three different wallets that you can get. There's the SUET wallet, there is the Wave wallet, and also there is the Ethos wallet. All of them are available as Chrome extensions. All you need to do is click on Chrome Public Beta and then you add that to Chrome. Once you've done that, it will ask you to set up your wallet, which you do like you do with any other wallet like Metamask or any other Web3 wallet, and job done. Now that you have your wallet, the next step is to load in test tokens so we can actually start interacting with all the dApps. Very straightforward to do so. Actually, what we do is we head on over to Blue Move, which is going to be an NFT marketplace for SUI blockchain. At the moment, there isn't really much that you can do on this NFT marketplace, but one thing that it does offer you is the ability to mint yourself some free tokens. So I'm going to disconnect my wallet so I can show you from step one what you do. You go ahead, you click Connect Wallet, you choose the wallet that you've obviously downloaded onto your machine. You go ahead and you click on the hamburger menu and click SUI faucet. Once you've done that, it will generate the tokens and send it directly to your wallet. If you want to check, all you need to do is click on your wallet, punch in your password. So let's just get that done. And as you can see, I've got a ton of testnet wallets. So now I can go ahead and start interacting with the testnet. So what do we interact with? Well, Interestingly enough, there are a number of dApps that are actually available on the testnet as we speak. And let's go through some of them. And if you interact with these, there is a potential that you could also get airdrop tokens from these dApps as well when they go onto mainnet and when SUI actually becomes mainnet as well. So first and foremost, what do we have? We've got the first DEX on SUI, which is called MoveX. So all you need to do is launch the DevNet. Once you've done that, you go ahead and connect your wallet so that's all done. Now we're sorted. Now all you need to do, either if you want some tokens, you can click on claim testnet tokens and go ahead and claim them. So you can get 500 USDT test tokens. You can get 500 DAI test tokens, prove that. And then what you'll see is that within your wallet, you'll have a load of test tokens already loaded up here, two and a half thousand here and 500 over here. Now we can actually start messing around on the actual DEX itself. So we can do a market order if we wanted to. So you want, you want to do is go ahead click on die and say that we want to buy 500 die for and here obviously they've only got usdt for 500 usdt and then all you need to do is put in 500 or let's just say uh 500 here what have i done 500 and then you just click swap approve that and there you go you've performed your first action on the movex testnet 
And because you've done this, potentially when the DAP goes live on mainnet, because you've been interacting with it, because you've been testing it out, go ahead and join their Discord, you may be in with a potential for an airdrop. But you, what you should do is test out all the functions, you know, so claim tokens from their DAP, actually use the liquidity pool, so provide liquidity as well. So let's just say you want to do, you know, 1000 USDT, as well as pairing that with, say, 500 DAI, right? You supply that, you approve that, and now you've actually provided liquidity on that DEX as well. And that's it. This is pretty much all that you need to do on all of these dApps. So this is MoveX. Another one that you can use here is the SUI name service. So similar to Ethereum name service that we've seen. So here you can go ahead and pick a name service that interests you. First, you want to connect the wallet. So we connect our wallet up, go ahead and see if our name's available. It is, you can just go ahead and claim. It's a thousand SUI. We approve that. And guess what? That's been given to you now as well. So the thing is with these test nets, every now and then you'll come across errors within here. When the errors do come, you just need to try again later. But the point is there are various dApps already on there that you can try out. Here's another one, CreaDex. So again, it's the same thing. You can try out their swap facilities, swap TUSD to TBTC. You've got liquidity, so you can look if you want to see, try and provide some liquidity. You can also try and do that here as well. Um, and similarly, they've got guest test tokens. So go ahead and mint yourself some of these tokens and keep an eye on these DEXs because as and when they start developing further, more functionalities come out, you just got to test them. That's it. You've got the test wallet. It doesn't take no more than a few minutes of your time. Job done. Same goes with SNS domains. Again, get yourself registered on here. Get it on the whitelist event for this. Interact with the actual DAP. Here's another one. This is currently obviously opening on Aptos at the moment, and I've got a quick tutorial on that on my TikTok if you want to see how you can do that. But again, this will eventually be available for SUI blockchain. So what you want to do in here is come in here, you know, lend, farm, swap, test out all these opportunities within here at the end of the day. And that's that. That's all you need to do in order to get set up and earn some free airdrops. Now, interesting part is, let's talk a bit about the tokenomics. So when it comes to actual SUI itself, the tokenomics behind it, you can check it out on the page here. Links are all in the bottom. But SUI is going to be used to actually pay for gas. So ultimately, you're going to be burning some of that. SUI will be a governance token for on-chain voting, which is all well and good. So the more SUI you have, the more of a say that you have. Um, and then SUI will also be distributed to the validators for securing the proof of stake network. And there'll be around 10 billion SUI tokens complete supply. But all the details can be found here. And that's it, really. If you're wondering how does it differ from Aptos blockchain, They've got different scalability strategies, right? SUI plans to shard data storage efficiently and scale its resources horizontally. The consensus algorithms are slightly different. Aptos uses block SDM. SUI uses Narwhal and Tusk, meaning they've got different security, and that's about it. In terms of similarities between SUI and Aptos, both use MOOF, which is Rust-based. And as you will see on my YouTube channel, there's also another L1 blockchain that I've been following for a long time that is much further ahead in their development, also built on using Rust. They both raised around $300 million in funding from some of the biggest VCs in the space. And both the core teams worked in the blockchain dev department in Meta. So not bad. So anyway, there's always incentivization when it comes to these projects. And so test out them out, use the blockchain, use the dApps, and you never know when the mainnet happens, you may be in with a chance for some airdrops that could quite easily mount to several thousands of dollars. If you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button below. Certainly subscribe to the channel and I will see you on another episode.